It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'll be bringing you guys a day in my life. So y'all are gonna hang out with me all day today. And also a small business vlog because as you guys know, I have a small business called Sweet Masonry and we are about to release our spring collection. So we have a lot of work to get done here in the office today, which is where we are. If you guys remember, we moved into the office. Ooh. I feel like that was the summer, last summer, maybe sometime in August or September. But I'm gonna roll back the clips of what this space looks like, or looked like back then. It was, it was just like completely a blank slate. So back then I went around and I like put sticky notes everywhere of how, like how I wanted to transform the space, what I wanted to do in each area, but I never got around to doing it. Like this space has never been decorated. So today, in this video, hopefully we'll be able to decorate it a whole lot more. I got a rug for this space, I got new pillows for the couch, I have a sign coming, but it's not here yet, that says Sweet Masonry. Um, and we have a whole bunch of inventory to unbox, so you guys are going to come along with me for that. I'm really, really excited. I also would like to thank Native so much for sponsoring today's video. So I personally made the switch over to Native last year during the holiday season. If you guys didn't know, Native deodorant is aluminum-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and also vegan, which is absolutely amazing. But what keeps me coming back to using their products is the smell. The smell of the deodorant is just so, so, so good. So I have the eucalyptus and mint scent, which just smells like the most relaxing spa day. I also have the sweet peach and nectar scent, which is my favorite scent for this season. And I find myself picking it up more often because it's springtime. And I also have the citrus and herbal musk, which I'm gonna be wearing today. This scent smells super woodsy, but also light and refreshing. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this now because I have not put on my deodorant today. So let's do this side. And then we're gonna add so the other side. The other thing I love about this deodorant is the texture. It's not sticky at all and it dries super duper quick. And I know a lot of you guys might be worried that when using an aluminum free deodorant that it just won't last all day and it won't work out for you. But with native deodorant, they actually have a 72 hour odor free protection. So even after like having a busy day like I'm about to have today or exercising, you won't be stinky. Plus native also has other products besides deodorant like body washes and toothpaste. They sent me the candy shop gummy bears body wash and it smells absolutely divine. I love that they come out with so many new scents for every season because you guys know I like to switch it up. Use my link and code YOUNGLADY to get 20% off your first purchase at Native. This offer is available site-wide but only for a limited time so stock up and save. I hope you guys try out Native. I love their deodorants so so much and they smell so so good. Use my code and use my link down below. Thank you so much Native for sponsoring today's video and you guys let's go ahead and see what we're working with in this office because I gotta show y'all what we're about to get into. Okay so when when you come into the door of the office this is what you see and it looks cray so we're gonna get it together we're gonna get it all the way together I think I want to start over here today but before we get started let me just take you guys all around so y'all can see so this is our table we have here it's a mess okay it's it's a big mess and then these are the like racks or shelves where we put all of our merchandise. So we currently still have our Christmas stuff 
all of that needs to be packed away and put away so that we can display all of our cute springy items for this season, which I'm really, really excited about. So we need to make room, we need to make room, get rid of all these Christmas things. Christmas collection we did not sell out of, you guys, but that is totally okay. All of these things, like our um, snowman measuring cups, these are all that are left over. I am going to package those up and we will sell them next year. I wanna do more like pop-ups next year. So a lot of this Christmas stuff, we will just, you know, save it for later. Okay, and then over this way, you guys, this is all of the stuff that I bought for like decorating this space. Will it focus? Will it focus? Okay, yeah. So this is all the stuff that I bought for decorating this space here in these boxes. That's the bathroom back there. This is the kitchen area, which we're also gonna transform. And then in this room is like, my or like the main office area so in here is basically like where we package up all the orders and things like that and it's also a mess in here so i bought two new chairs to go in this space we're gonna put all of that together and yeah i really i'm really ready to just go ahead and start before i lose my momentum before i start getting tired so like i said let's start here let's get this entryway area together oh and another reason we're even doing this in the first place is because we want to offer local pickups so if you live in georgia and you want to stop by come to the office pick up your merchandise you'll be able to do that this time um so yeah we haven't been able to offer like local pickup before but now we can so that's gonna be excited to see you guys come in and get your orders and i want you guys to come into a cute space like y'all can't be coming in there Y'all can be coming in here and it looks like this. Like, it's just a mess. So, I'm gonna prop y'all up on the tripod and then we're gonna get to decorating. I trusted you once, but I won't. I won't do that again. Okay y'all, so now that the floor is clean, we are going to add the rug. This is a really pretty jute rug that I got from Castlery. If you guys remember, they sponsored my mom's living room makeover. So I'm going to be using this to go right here in this area. I'm hoping that it's not too big. I haven't measured it or anything, but I just know that it'll be nice to have something underfoot, like to really ground the couch. So let's see how it looks. Do it again, do it again, do it again Do it again and we won't end up as friends Do it again, do it again, do it again I trusted you once but I Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. So I think that looks really good. It kind of just needs to flatten out a bit. I wanted the circle to be just a little bit underneath the couch, so we Executed that great and now I have some pillows to put on there. So I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer Also y'all I completely forgot to mention like the whole color story for this space. So one of our main Graphics or like a part of our brand identity is this picture right here. So that's kind of what I am playing off of this couch is already like a lavendery color that's within our brand identity so i'm trying to add in the pink tones the cream tones and the sage tones to really just like make it tie in even more so yeah so from amazon i actually got these peachy looking pinky looking pillow covers and i got two of them so they look like this real cutie i had to turn the lighting down i just feel like it was way too bright but um so yeah, this is one of the little pinky ones. And here's the other one. And then I also got them in cream. I'm wishing now that I would have got some in like a sagey color as well to really just like tie all that in together. But here's the creamy color. And then of course I bought pillow cushions. So let's open these up. <laughs> Pinky 
pinky ones and see how these look. I can stop my heart from burning up. Why do I love like this? Oh my god. It feels like, it feels like I'm gonna die. It feels like, it feels like I'm about to die. If I can't have, if I can't have you, you and I wanna be alone with you. Alone. So the couch is all cutie and now we are going to focus our attention over here on this plant. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to try to show y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So like these little spots on it. I'm just gonna clean the leaves, give it a little care. The soil's a little dry. I got this one from Sam's Club, which I thought, you know, you don't think that Sam's Club have plants, but they do, and they're really amazing prices. And this one came with a really pretty pot in that sagey color, and then also a nice stand as well that I love. So, we're trying to incorporate a lot of the sagey color. Y'all are gonna see all the sagey things we have up in here because that's one of the main colors in our brand identity. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get these little spots off. I'm not sure what they're called, but just to make it look a little bit more fresh. Y'all know I don't have the greenest thumb, so leave me planted. Like, is it okay to do this? I see a lot of people spray leaves from time to time, but we had this one outside um while I was waiting to bring it here so I feel like it just got extra dirty and dusty so let's clean her and make her feel pretty in this space and you can already see like all the stuff coming off on the tissue Oh, and if you guys are curious, here is the type of plant that this is. It's a part of paradise, and it says that it's super easy to grow, medium light. So I think this location right here is going to be perfect for this. So you guys, we're just about done over here in this area. I feel like it's looking cute. The only thing that we are missing is like the sign that's gonna go back here that says Sweet Masonry. And then I have this doormat that I got custom made, which I am obsessed with off of Zazzle.com. It's my first time ever ordering something from them. But the material on the front is like a fabric -y, felty material. And then on the back, it's like a rubbery material. So I'm gonna put this right in front of the front door. But I'm wondering like, should it read Sweet Masonry when you're going out? Or should it read Sweet Masonry when you're coming in? I don't know, I feel like, at least for now, I'm just gonna have, like, leave it where it reads me, Sweet Masonry when you're coming out. And then when we have people come, I'll turn it around. So this is what it looks like right here. We've always needed a doormat, so I feel like that's just such a cute little touch. You on my hips, me on your lips, so sweet, both understanding. But yeah, this is what it looks like and I can't wait for our little sign to go here. One of my subbies, Deanna, she's making it for us and it's going to be rather large. She's making it out of wood. So I was just going to say sweet masonry right there if you guys can picture it. I don't know why it wasn't focusing, but right along here we're going to have a sign. We're not going to leave it blank like that. I actually also have some lights that might be cute to go up here too. You guys, this is the light that I have to go up in here which is really, really cute. And I wanna hang it like straight down from there. I'm gonna need Marcus's help with this though. And then the word sweet masonry will be here. So 
We got this from Ikea, and I wanna say it was like 29 bucks for this big old shade. So yeah, right over this space, we have the light like hanging up here. It'd be higher though. And then the words we made today. So cutie. So now that we're finished with this little corner, we are gonna move on to working on the shelves. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of Christmas stuff that needs to go, and then spring stuff that needs to come up. So let's go ahead and, and like start tackling that now. These are all of our items for spring collection. It's like 18 of them. I'm gonna rip this off so I can remember what needs to come like go up. I'm just gonna stick it here for now.
Okay, that took a minute, but I'm finally done getting rid of like all the Christmas stuff. So now the shelves look a lot more clear and now we can organize all the spring stuff in a cute way. So let's go ahead and do that. I gotta bring in the boxes for the spring stuff and then we will put it up on the shelves. Hey you guys, so where's my phone? It's one o'clock right now. Your girl is getting super duper tired, but I've made progress. Look at all the cute spring merch that is all stacked up super nicely. I was about to go through and like open all of our wood pedestals next and set those up. 
But first, I was like, okay, I need to get a snack because I'm running low on energy. So I'm eating these pop chips. They're really good. I used to eat pop chips in college a lot. And then for some reason, I just stopped. So I got a big pack of these from Sam's Club. That big pack is over there. We're going to organize all the snacks in this vlog too. And I um, also thought about going out to get lunch soon. So I think I'm going to eat the snack. Put up a lot more inventory because I want this wall to be done before I go out for lunch just in case I don't come back. <laughs> I guess it never hit you our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that greatness in all of your adventures you're all alone hold up hold up baby I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Okay y'all, so all of the inventory is up and these are all the boxes that I've accumulated since unboxing all the inventory. And a lot of you guys were telling me to use these boxes to ship, but the reason I don't is because they, these just aren't good boxes to ship with. Now I do have a few of them that I save for different reasons, like to hold extra inventories in the little warehouse space back there or whatever, but um, these boxes will just be recycled. And then I order like sturdier boxes to ship with from either Uline or Walmart or wherever the case might be. So now that we're done with this little area, let me show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna take that down and move it into my personal office later on, but that's how cute our spring collection looks. And we have one full rack left and like one more spot left right here as well. So yeah, we were able to fill up most of the racks with the spring stuff, that's great. And I have one more of these sweet masonry doormats. So I'm low key thinking, now that I can open this door, I might need to move this shelf out the way and maybe put the shelf right here. That might be what I do, y'all, so let's see. So that'll be here like that. Now there's open space to get in and out of the doorway, you know. That's great. And my sign, I love the sign. <laughs> the doormat can just go right here as well. So I think that makes the most sense. Free up some space. Ah, so cute. A little cricket. Let me fix it. There we go. That's so beautiful sense so let's see let's stand back and see what it looks like if it were to look like this okay I kind of don't like this shelf being right here I'm gonna move this shelf into here so we can because we need a shelf in here we do like for example back here I was supposed to get more shelves if you see for like my mailing supplies so I'm gonna use that shelf that's left over for mailing supplies also, I might go to Home Depot while I'm out for lunch. And also we need to go to Target too to pick up some stuff. But this table, I'm thinking about painting it a sage green color. Now this table does belong to my mom. So I'm gonna have to call her first and ask her if it's okay. 
um and if it's not that's fine i might just get like a tablecloth or something to go over it because the wood tones you know it's not vibing quite well with the floor and same with the tones in the chairs too so I, I would love to paint that green but yeah we'll see Special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you're doing that right, alright That's how you think doing that right Always on top of you Okay guys, so I am back in the office. I had lunch. I feel a whole lot better. I was starting to fall asleep as they were making my pizza. Like, that's how tired I was. So I'm sure you guys saw what I got already because I took some footage and I got a power rate because I need the energy. Hopefully this will give me some. But now that this side of the room is done, we're gonna move around this side. Now, there's not gonna be anything on this wall. Again, I'm gonna move this shelf into my personal office for like boxes and tissue paper and stuff. So, I also didn't talk to my mom yet about this table. So we're just gonna leave this for now, scoot it over and start working on the kitchenette area because I bought a lot of fun things from Amazon that we have to unbox. And I also got some peel and stick backsplash. So this is what we need to tackle first. We need to clear it off and try to put up this backsplash. I hope it's enough. Okay y'all, so now that everything is cleared off over here, except for like some trash bags, I am going to start installing this peel and stick backsplash. So it says first you position it, then you cut it, then you peel it, then you stick it on. So that seems really easy. I think I'm gonna start from the top, going all the way down to the bottom. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty actually. These are actually so pretty. I really like these. So. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning. Didn't know I missed this fashion in life. Now I'm addicted so much. Let me tell you why. What is up with your smile? It's impossible.
Okay, you guys, so I just finished the sage green backsplash and I think it looks really, really good for my first time. Let's keep that in mind. But it's super duper easy to use these tiles. The only thing I struggled with was the outlet. So I'm gonna show you guys my boo-boo. Right here, my error. Can I zoom in? Here we go. So like right here on this side, you guys can see that. I didn't cut it out perfectly. So that's the only little area where it looks a little cray. But outside of that, ooh, we're really close. Outside of that, I think it looks super duper cutie. And I might end up putting something right here anyway, so it won't be like that big of a deal. Okay, so now y'all, I want to install these lights. I got these from Home Depot, they're about $20, and basically you put them underneath the cabinet lights, and they have different modes. They have a cool, I think a warm, and like a very bright light in here. Yeah, cool white, soft white, or blended white options. No batteries, no wires, no tools required. And it's an auto shut off after 20 seconds, which is great because, you know, I'm not here all the time. So it makes more sense for these to be like more so motion censored, motion activated. Only you can make my world go black. Say you love me, then you take it back. Okay, so here, this must be cool. This must be like, um, warm or soft white and then we have this color okay so it's three colors this color this color and this color which I'm thinking this one might look best it's like a nice warm light under there which is kind of what I'm going for also this is how you control the motion right here on the side like where you want it to pick up the motion from so yeah that was so so easy and it looks so cute I'm gonna turn this light out overhead so we can see what it looks like in dim lighting OMG you guys I feel like that looks so cutie I feel like that looks so cute y'all oh, okay so now we're gonna like wipe off these counters over here and then we are going to finish decorating so y'all i bought a lot of different like little organizational things to keep this area just a lot more organized y'all saw what it looked like before hot mess snacks everywhere so this is a little dispenser thing. It's really cute. I don't know like where it's gonna go yet, but I really really like it. Have it like right here. And I say that because I have a whole bunch more to unbox. So let's just finish unboxing like and setting up all of the organizing things and then we will figure out what's gonna go in it and like where they will actually live. So this is the next thing that I have. It's a storage bin to tier. And I got this for things that are individually wrapped. So let's see how we can set this one up, you guys. Okay. 
cute little snack tray. It was so easy to put together too. So basically you just, this also be really good like under the sink and in your home, whatever. But I'll link it on my Amazon. You just slide this out, slide this out, grab your snacks and go. So for now, I'm just gonna place this one here. I think that's cute. And also it comes with a whole bunch of dividers so you can make sure your chips are propped up. Or these could be tops. Are they tops? Okay, so these are tops. Oh, it's supposed to be perfect for you to see. For like laundry pods and, or dish pods, whatever. And then these are the um, little things so you can prop them up, prop up your items. That's so cool. I love that. Create more organization areas. Okay, so I also got this for over here. And it is basically just like something you can put your forks, knives, and spoons in. I see that? Fork, spoon, and knives. Okay y'all, so I just finished wiping and rinsing this one off. And now I'm about to go ahead and put in a little snacky inside. Let's see if it works. So I have like the little lids here at the bottom right now, just so you know bugs or anything will crawl up in there. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it works. It works so perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and organize the rest of the snacks on this tray. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm about to call it a day. I feel like I got a lot of stuff done here today and your girl is tired, so I'll probably be back tomorrow. Yeah, I I just love how everything's turning out. It feels like this is always the way that it was supposed to be. Hey, y'all, so it is day two of the small business vlog. I'm currently in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru line because I wanted to make breakfast this morning, but the meat was, like the meat that I wanted to use was not thawed out. So I was like, okay, I'll just stop here at Chick-fil-A on my way to the office. So that way we can finish like getting all the stuff done that we got done yesterday. Or you, you guys know what I mean. We've got to finish getting a lot of stuff done. And my agenda for today is to tidy up the table now. We got to get that together. I want to tidy up the main like my personal office and then I want to take content pictures for our sweet masonry spring collection you follow us on Instagram and on the website for like more official things but then we do have a 10% off coupon code this time and it's called sweet spring so you guys can save some money while you shop your favorite spring items so yeah once I get my food I will reconnect with you guys Okay, you guys, so we have made it to the office for today. Yesterday on the way home, I grabbed some cleaning supplies from Dollar General. Let me open up the blinds, lock the door, and turn on the light. Also put my purse away. Those are just like the little things I do. 
So this area, okay, the tiles held up overnight, you guys. I was a little worried about what they would do, but they seem to have held up. Everything over here looks super duper cute. Love it. We're gonna tackle this table today. Move this to like my indoor office and then get all these boxes out so I can shoot, um, so I can shoot content pictures of all the spring merchandise. Matter of fact, I might go ahead and get all these boxes out now because this is just not cute. So let's just go. So much better over there already. Um, so now you guys, I am going to clean off the table. Okay y'all, so now that the table is all clean, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this new broom and dustpan set that I got. So y'all saw what I was using yesterday, this dustpan right here. And the other broom that I have, this is gonna be the one that I use to sweep out the warehouse now. And this new one is gonna be what I use like here in the main office spaces. So let's unbox this now. So check out the color. It's so, so pretty. So of course I got it in like this sagey green. So let's put it together, you guys. So update, I love that dustpan. It works so, 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 so well. But now y'all, we're about to decorate the table. So what I think I'm gonna do, my mom did say I could paint it, which is great. But instead of painting it for now, I think I'm just going to drape a tablecloth over it. I don't have the tablecloth yet. So we'll do that at some point in the video. But for now, I'm feeling like I just kind of want to decorate the table with the palm fronds that I got, you know? Or should I wait until I have the tablecloth? That way I can see if I like this arrangement that I'm about to make. Okay, change the plans. I think I'm just going to wait. It just makes more sense to wait. So instead of doing that right now, I think I want to go ahead and start taking pictures of um, the inventory because I need to like I need to get some pictures. So. Once I do that, I think I'm gonna go home and come back tomorrow and then finish the indoor office and this and everything else. So let's go. I don't have the exact fabrics that I need to take my photos, but I'm just gonna 
try it anyway i think i wanted like a sage color fabric for some reason i thought i have one but i don't so in addition so instead of doing sage i was like okay well just a neutral work so i have this one right here which is like a banana color that i'm gonna try out i have this one right here that i used for the fall and halloween collection i don't think this one will go with spring though now that it's in here and i see it in the light um and my other backdrop is this one that i use for the christmas collection because it has like little glittery sparkles in it and it's a white color so yeah either one of these i think will work i'm just gonna try and then if i don't like the way that the pictures are coming out i'm just gonna run to joanne's or hobby lobby and grab some fabric that is like a true white and I'm gonna grab like a fabric in this sagey color so Okay y'all, so as you can see, I'm in Joann's. I decided to just come here and get fabric because what I had just wasn't working out with like the vision that is in my brain. So I have these two colors right here right now, a sage and like a really pretty white. And I'm trying to find some other sagey ones. Like these I thought were cool colors, but the material I'm not really vibing with. And I think I'm gonna have to buy an iron for the office. That's something that we need. Okay, you guys, so I just made it back into the office. As y'all saw, I went to Target and I also went to Joann's because I needed to get new fabrics. So from Target, I got an ironing board, an iron, and I also got the tablecloth. So we might be able to, let me fix this. Sorry y'all are just looking at my stomach. Okay. So we might be able to go ahead and just get the table decorated today. But yeah, hopefully this is good. This simple white round tablecloth. Target. This is the iron that I got that I'm about to plug in. And then these are the fabrics that I got. We have the green, the sage green, and then we have the white. Okay, you guys, so today is going to be the last day that I am going to be filming in the office. So we gotta get everything done. Um, I did come here yesterday, but all the work that I did was off camera because I was simply trying to take photographs, testing out different fabrics. These fabrics that we got from Joann's totally did not work for this photo shoot. So I went and got some new fabrics here. Um, I also, yesterday I put together this like backdrop thing but it is honestly way too big like and there's still one piece that i didn't attach to it so 
So I was trying to take a few photographs. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like a really nice sage green color. And yeah, it just wasn't working out. Yeah, I'm just about to clean up all of this. And then we're gonna start working on this indoor office because I wanna get that all decorated in this video as well. So here we go. That you were nice, but now I am telling you I'm going to smile. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw her, so I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me, I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh-oh Lucky, 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 I won't let the door hit when I leave I guess that I was born beneath a very lucky star And in a week or two, I won't remember who you are Okay, so now that we've cleaned up a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the table. I think I showed you guys the other day that I had bought a new tablecloth. Turn on the light real quick. To go on this table instead of painting it, but y'all let me know down in the comments, should I just go ahead and paint it in the next video or for the future? But for today, we're gonna go ahead and put this tablecloth on there that I got from Target. And then these are the different decorations that I have to go <laughs> on top of the table. These really pretty palm fronds and like the sage green color. And then I have three of these like pale pinky ones that match almost perfectly with the couch. They're so cute. So let's go ahead and put on the tablecloth now. Okay y'all, so now we're about to make our way up into my like little personal office. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking in this space because it's just really a lot of cleaning up that needs to be done. And then when I finally get to the decorating portion, I'll come back and chat with you guys about what I'm thinking.
Okay, y'all, so I have this one little desk clean. I still have two more to go. But I bought these mats to put on top of, like, all of our shipping desks. That way to make, we can make cleaning a little bit easier. And they're pink, so we can add a little bit more pink onto the table. So I'm about to unbox this now and see what it looks like. And then we're going to organize, like, all of our pen and tape and all that stuff. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. guys i just unboxed the cutest little office supplies i am obsessed with like these pins they're so good and like i just used them i already know they're the bomb and then i got new little highlighters of course i already had this stuff from the classroom but i wanted to get a few more things to really break in the office and then like my favorite thing right now these little cloud paper cutters box cutter thingies they're even sharper than this one that I got from Home Depot. I don't know if you guys saw like how easily these little things slice through those Amazon packages and cardboard. So yeah, these are so cute and like you wouldn't expect these to be little box cutters. I'll link everything down below my Amazon storefront. I do have these things left over from the snack supplies. So I'm going to put some of these um, clothespins in here because I use those a lot when I'm doing my content photos. And then I will put, I'll figure out what will go in this other one. Maybe some sticky notes or index cards.
Okay, I just finished this table right here, you guys. And now I'm going to go ahead, it looks so cute, the pinks. Oh, I love it so much. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do this last table, which honestly, usually it's my business table when he's here helping me. And that table over there is mine, <laughs> the one we did first. So um, I'm gonna make this all super nice for him. This is this checklist, it's so cute. For when he's packing orders, he wrote this out so he can remember what to do. I think I'm gonna take a picture of this and type it up nicer for him and then um, put it like in a little frame down here. So that way we can put some more fun things on the wall. I don't have anything planned to put on the walls in here, but I was thinking like, what if I got a whole bunch of frames? And you guys know like, or you may not know, but we have a lot of colors that are part of our brand identity. The peach, the lilac, the pinks, the creams, the sage tones the browns, the dark greens, and I was thinking what if I got frames and for every single color of, I think we have 24 colors that are part of our brand identity, I know it's insane, we have 24 colors that are that are a part of our brand identity, so I was thinking we could have those colors with the low, corresponding logo, same sweet masonry in each one of the frames. I hope it's making sense, so I'll pop a picture like this, so you guys can see, there'd be 24 of those in every different colorway we have part of our brand identity um but i may not do 24 frames that might be too much so maybe 12 of like my favorite colors all of them are my favorite cells so it'll be hard to pick but maybe you guys can help me with that comment down below if you think it's even like a good idea to begin with Alright y'all, all the tables are complete and they're decorated and they look really great. So before we build the chairs, I'm going to slide in the shelf that I told you guys about and we're going to put some boxes on there to free up some room underneath this table and so it doesn't look so junky over here. So let's do that now. Okay, you guys. So I got as many as the box, as many of the boxes as I could over here onto like the little shelf thingy. So this is what it looks like. Way less boxes are on the floor, so I feel like that's great. And now Marcus is here. We're about to unbox and set up the chairs that I got to go in here. They're really pretty mint, or not mint, sage green color. So um, yeah, here we go.
Okay, y'all, so the chairs look fantastic. I love them so much. They were from Article. I'll link them down below, so if you guys wanna grab them, you can. They come in so many different colors, but of course, the sage is just so true to Sweet Masonry. So yeah, love it so much. So we got two of them. One right here for anyone, well, most likely Marcus. <laughs> Um, and then this one over here is my little station. And y'all, look how perfectly the dustpan matches with the chair. I thought that was insane. I love these little mats. I feel like they just add something extra to the room. And for sure, I'm thinking about putting picture frames all along here that just say sweet masonry so that like up here can pop a whole lot more. This board, I don't know if it'll stay there. Might move it over here to this wall. Um, yeah. And let's see, we need to organize this a whole lot better over here. I need to also figure out how I'm gonna organize my tissue paper a little bit better. We have the one that we'll be using for the spring collection right here, which looks like this, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And then we have all our tapes and stuff. And then over here we have all of our packing paper that we use. I put peanuts in there, but there's still some more, as you guys saw. And then these are all of our bubble mailers. I wanna find a way to organize these a lot better too. But yeah, for now, I'd say that this room is done and it looks a whole lot better. I'm sure you guys can agree. I love my little area over here with all my cute little markers and pins and things like that. I just need to get one more container to put like these types of things in. So one more for that. And I even thought about getting some sort of container for my tape so they can like sit like this in some sort of container, like a rectangular one. I thought that would be cute, but for now, I'm just stacking them like that. These are the brand new ones that we haven't opened and those are the ones that we're still working off of. It also would be nice to have like a sticker dispensary, a dispensary of some sort. Um. This area over here is gonna be for Marshmallow. I have to fix it up a whole lot more so that way when she's here with us, she can chill. I wanna get like a mini little jute rug to go here for her. I don't think I wanna put anything here. That way we can freely roll where we need to roll. But for Marshy, I think she needs like a little rug right here. That would be cute. And a basket for her toys to go in as well as a food and water station in here as well. So we'll work on that next time. So the table, this is what it's looking like right now. I feel like it looks good, but I'm also like, I don't know, I feel like I should paint the table green instead of this white tablecloth or get a sage tablecloth. Either one, because I feel like this part of the room looks kind of boring, you know? It's like kind of bland looking. There's no green. Also, something on the wall back here would be great, but I don't have any ideas for that, so I do need suggestions for that. Okay, y'all, so we were gonna put up the light, but I'm feeling really tired, so I gotta take my break. I gotta go home and reset, and when I edited this vlog yesterday, it was over hour long, so I think we have more than enough footage in the first part of this office decorating series. There's still so much more to do, like putting, getting the sign, putting up the light, adding the frames in the indoor office, and figuring out what we're gonna do in that black wall back there. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this office vlog. The spring collection goes live March 15th at 7 p.m. I'll have all the details right here, and you guys can check out our Instagram, and be sure to use the code SWEETSPRING for 10% off your purchase. And if you are picking up in stores, I hope I can't wait to see you guys and for you guys to get your items. I say in stores, but you know what I mean, like here at the office. And you can see this space like in real life. I think that's gonna be so cool, but I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!